So we are finally back at my brother's. It's been a what? It's been a week? It's been a week. We had a week of rain and just total interruption, so. Coat, dig, dry, DIY. What happened is we got the pad built up. I hauled in about 15 or 16, 16, loads, loads. 16 loads of dirt. Spent all day trucking. We got done in the dark. Nate was finishing his rolling in the rain. I never even looked to see how much footage we got of the rolling, but we're back here again today. And the goal for today is to get the topsoil knocked down and somewhat to grade around the perimeter of the building pad and out in the driveway. What I like to do is build the topsoil up to where I want my slope to be and then I can take the stone up to that. So the dirt kind of acts like a form if you will. If you were going to pour concrete you'd have a form to hold it back. Well I like to use dirt and put that in there and then the stone can go up to it. So that's the goal of the day for today is to get this topsoil that we peeled off kind of knocked down, smoothed up, and it won't look like so much of a construction site around here. So we're getting a knock down for tonight. It's a Sunday night. We're about to eat some pork chops. We're getting all that sod spread out. It's full of water and mud. So we'll get it spread out and it can dry. And we'll come back. This is a continuation project here. Hey, it's been a couple weeks and we're finally back over at my brother's. What you just saw was me knocking down all that muddy, clumpy stuff around the outside. And We've had a few days of sun and dry weather. We're going to try to get it graded out, basically rough graded tonight, around the perimeter of the building and along the edges of the driveway so that the next step will be to bring in some stone or some recycled concrete, build up the pad area, build up the driveway, and then we'll be ready for them to start the building. So we got one 755, the backhoe. We might have a 316 involved before it's over, but all right, let's start moving some dirt. Time for the little tractor to work a little bit.
just got our first load of concrete. This is recycled concrete material, so they crunch up old concrete and make it into a product they call 53s, Indiana 53s. And it's got some powder in it, but it, this stuff packs really good. It makes great fill material. And that's what we're going to use to kind of build up this first layer uh, around here and get the pad a little bit closer. This is what we got done last night on the dirt. Got it worked up a little bit better. Looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some of this back a little bit because I am right up to the edge of where the building is. I don't want the topsoil quite that close, so I'm going to pull that back a little bit so we don't lose that topsoil. So I just got that first load knocked down and roughed in so I can kind of get an eyeball. I'm about two or three, maybe four inches thick here. And then as the slab tapers off, I want to be about eight, nine inches thick over here with it. So I got the material. God, I hate that word too. I get the material. I got this material. <laughs> I got this material a little bit thicker on this side so that it levels out as you come across. And the actual corner of the building is probably right about here. So I need to bring this side out just a little bit more. I got the topsoil pushed back so that when we build the building, he's probably going to have a little bit of a, a limestone apron around the whole outside, like I have on mine right here, which I really, really like. Keeps the critters out and just makes a nice border and a way to separate the yard from the building perimeter. So that's why I've got that pulled back. And then that creates kind of a shelf or a rock rock ledge to start building upon. And we might need some more dirt out here. That's the plan. Okay, now we'll just wait on more crushed concrete. Fifth load of recycled concrete. Getting her built up pretty good. I want to keep knocking stuff down. Now I'm going to rough grade the rough grade and get a little less rough. The first time was an 80 grit. This pass is going to be like 120. And then right before they pour concrete, that's when you put the 220 and the final sand on it. Well, that will do for a rough for now. So this is far enough along that they can start the building project and get trucks in here 
and do all the construction and wallering around. Pad's good and level enough now. It's all within about an inch or so. All the, everywhere we checked it is within an inch. And the driveway slopes out. Won't hold any water now, so we're in good shape. I guess we'll we'll come back when they start the building. Okay, here's the current state of his building. These are the concrete biscuits that go in the bottom of each hole. Then these are the poles. There's all the rest of the poles. The lumber. There's some uh, foam probably for the roof or something or the eaves. I don't know. Door. And here's all the siding and the soffit. Aluminum soffit. Look how close that building pad was. have like a plastic wrap on the bottom. It's supposed to help preserve them. I don't know. Looks like it makes sense to me. A little concrete footer in the bottom of each one. They hit a tile in this hole right here, and I think that that's the tile for the, the tile for the sump pump and the downspouts. So we got to patch that. Well, after the building crew left for the night, Brother Nate got to work on that damaged tile and was able to get it patched up inside the borehole without the need to make the hole any bigger. That was quite an accomplishment in and of itself. The building crew was at the point where they were going to need the roof trusses to continue construction of the barn and keep things moving forward on schedule. The only problem was that the trusses were delivered several months earlier to my parents' house, which was just over a mile away. So our next task was to figure out a way to move the 13 36-foot wide trusses from my parents' house over to Nate's house without having a trailer big enough to haul them on. We got creative and figured out a way to get them over there. But I'm going to leave that for the next installment of this project series. I really appreciate you coming along to watch these videos. Be sure to drop a comment down below because I just really enjoy getting your feedback or maybe you just want to say hi. All right, that'll do it for now. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.